Well, again, Cedric Maxwell, Andre Aldridge. I've heard the best player out of Inglewood High School is uh, is Lisa Leslie. But I heard no, actually you... Lisa went to Morningside. Oh, okay, okay. So all that right. was our crosstown rival. Oh, okay, all right. So you clown me in the break. Okay, <laughs> nice going there. Uh, my man Paul Pierce, uh, the captain of the Celtics. First of all, how you feeling, uh, Ice Man? Oh, I'm feeling great, man. You know, I'm just icing cautions. It was a long camp. We got through it. Everybody looked good. No injuries. So uh, we're ready to go. How focused are you on repeating what? happened here two seasons ago? Uh, we're very focused. You know, you can see this is a very serious group from day one at training camp. Uh, you know, we're out here like somebody stole something from us, and uh, these guys uh, are really focused. And you can see it in everybody's eyes. Everybody came back in great shape and, and ready to go. Last year, you think about your team in particular, and I thought about you guys when you went to the Lakers and you played those guys at Christmas time, 27-2. and two. To me, what you guys seemed like you were trying to do was trying to win 70 games last year. Everybody started to get hurt. You had injuries, and then the wheels kind of fell off. Well, I mean, that just goes throughout the course of the season. I mean, every team has them. It's just unfortunate. It seems like when one guy went down and one guy got healthy, another guy went down for us. So uh, something you got to battle with throughout the season. Uh, it's unfortunate, but hopefully we can stay healthy and, and have a great season. Now, Andre asked me something on air a minute ago. I didn't want to say it. Talking about, where is Paul Pierce lined up with the grace of the Celtics? And, and I had to say that you might have been in the starting five. I almost threw up then. He didn't, he didn't want to what? for some reason. Hey, you know, that's a good thing. And I still got about five six more years to play. Hey, Paul, you look at your team overall and you get Rashid Wallace. What a benefit and how much space does this give you on the dance floor to be a slasher and a penetrator when guys have to guard him? I mean, he's so versatile out there. The way he shoots the ball, his IQ, uh, he's going to be able to give Kevin a break uh, so we don't have to rush him along too much. And the way he looked today, he looked like the Rashid of old. You know, I'm just happy to be able to play with him. Uh, a guy with such a high basketball IQ, a great pedigree, a championship pedigree, and uh, he's going to help us huge this year. Captain and how good has your basketball life gotten when uh, we can sit here and somebody can say that the wheels fell off and you were 60 and 22 and you're kind of <laughs> like, yeah, you're kind of like, yeah, what's that championship it, do? I mean, it makes you wonder uh, if we we're a healthy team, what we could have did. I mean, 75, 80 wins maybe. <laughs> I don't know. 80? <laughs> you know, but uh, hey, like I said, that's all a part of the game. We had a great season last year. Unfortunately, it ended shorter than we would like it to. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we can bounce back this year and, and get a championship. Mm -hmm. Paul, one thing that we looked at last year, and over the years of your career, obviously you've had all these things. And one, one thing I mentioned about it, I said, Paul Pierce has grown up not only as a basketball player, mm -hmm. but he's grown up as a man. And, and having a child, really tell us about, you know, how your life really has just developed now. Uh, I think I'm more around where the person. I mean, as far as the things I do on the court as well as off the court. Uh, uh, I'm really a devoted father at home and, you know, along with my foundation. I started my foundation uh, regardless, uh, regarding uh, childhood obesity. I started my health uh, fitness 34 uh, club this summer, and uh, a lot, I got 34 kids on my council throughout the city of Boston. Hopefully, this is something we can spread throughout America to fight childhood obesity. So, you know, as far as doing things on the court and off court, uh, I'm just as equal. So, hopefully, I can continue those I, things I, you, and grow. You know, one thing I got to ask you on air has that little girl of yours got you wrapped around her finger? Oh man, I can't wait to get home tonight and see her. <laughs> I haven't seen her in a week, so I'll probably wake her up in her sleep and just give her a hug. You know, you kind of touched on it already, but I, I remember uh, being at the All Star game in New Orleans two years ago. And uh, Rashid, the Piston, was in there with all of you Celtics. And after the game, he just goes, you know what? I loved all you guys for two hours, but now I hate every one of you. So what's it like to get that game and personality in your locker room now? It's great, man. You know, the thing about Rashid, we feel like we've known him already. I mean, going to the All-Star game with him, it was like, you know, we always kind of hung in the corner in the locker room. Me, Rashid, Chauncey, mm -hmm. KG, you know, and Ray. And then it was like when he came to the team, it was like, He's supposed to be here? He was supposed to be here. You know, it's like he fit right along. He just walked right in like he was already here. So it was an easy transition just bringing him along. And let me get you to touch just a, a little bit on, on the new guy that everybody's not writing about and what you expect from Marquise Daniels. I expect huge things from Marquise. He's going to give me an opportunity to be more versatile on the court, uh, take some pressure off me offensively and defensively. Uh, one thing I didn't know about Marquise is uh, what a high basketball IQ he had. I knew he was super talented the way he moved uh, without the ball, the way he scored it, but uh, he He's such an intelligent player, and that's going to help us out a lot. All right. You know, we appreciate you uh, coming here, spending some time with us. Double A is good to see you, baby. Bring a little Southern California to Boston. <laughs> and for the record, uh, Ralph Jackson and uh, Jay that's Humphreys and, uh, and, Jay, Reggie, up, and Reggie Theus, all the Inglewood High School guys. <laughs> Who we got in the Not background. a Chicago, <laughs> not some Chicago guy. Are they reminiscing you know, about, about Inglewood? Yes, we are reminiscing about Southern California. <laughs> and Jay Humphreys used to bust you up. Rizzo East High School. <laughs> Dominant. Dominant? Dominant. Okay, all right. We're going to get that. No, no, no. We need you to stay here. 
We're going to take a quick timeout. We're going to talk to Chicago in a minute, folks. A quick timeout coming our way. We're going to let the captain of the Celtics leave us, but we're coming back with much, much more of NBA Real Training Camp presented by 2K Sports. Big baby in the house. Stay tuned. <laughs> Look at big baby. Look at him. Ultimate smoozer.